a wicker basket. Now, most people would total loss wicker baskets. Because how do you clean how do you clean them by hand? So the way we do it uh, ultrasonically is the key is a wicker basket is like a sponge. It absorbs it absorbs whatever it comes in contact with. So what I want to do with a wicker basket is I want to pre-rinse it in clean water. Because I want to, if I'm going to absorb anything, I'd rather, I want to absorb some clean water before I go into my ultrasonic tank, because at that point I might be absorbing some dirty water that's, uh, that is now going to get into the pores of the basket. So I'm almost pre-lubricating the basket. And the way I'm doing that is I'm taking the wicker basket and I'm rotating it under free-flowing water. Because I can't just dunk the, the basket and let it sit, it's just going to fill up with too much water like a sponge. At that point, I'm going to take that basket and I'm going to take it into the ultrasonic tank. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to run the ultrasound and I'm going to rotate the basket in the, in the ultrasonic bath for about 15 seconds. So it's a fairly short process. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to rinse it again. I'm going to air dry it and then run through the tunnel dryer. And then generally, I'd probably let that basket sit overnight. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to sit in a room that's 120 degrees, but I'm not always 100% confident that a six to ten minute cycle in the tunnel dryer is enough to completely dry it out because it's so porous. So I would let it sit out overnight. But you can definitely uh, do a wicker basket. One extra step you have to take on a wicker basket is you've got to dip it into, a, into an odor counteractant. So I'd mix a deodorizer with water and dip it into that so that I fill in those pores. <laughs>